Sorry, I was just going to say if if you are you don't know where to start and it's a room, yeah, then um, I would suggest that first of all you zone the room. So just think about a zone would be like a piece of furniture. So it could be if it was the kitchen, it might be the fridge, or if it was uh, the living room, it might be a bookcase. Just think of the the area in terms of zones. If you've got stuff on the floor, then that would be a zone as well. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're feeling <laughs> it happens, that would be the first area. If if it, if you do have stuff on the floor, that would be the first zone. But for people that are overwhelmed, it's a really good idea just to think of a zone. So you think today, all I'm doing is I'm looking at the fridge. All I'm doing is I'm looking at the bookcase. And if you're super super overwhelmed, you would break it down even further. So you go, all I'm doing is looking at the top shelf of my um, bookcase. And just do it in little zones and forget about the whole, just don't think about the whole picture. You want to really just drill in. That's all I've got to think about and concentrate on decluttering first. And that 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 makes me think of my second favourite F word, which is focus. Yes. <laughs> because yes. you're, fo you're focusing then. And um, yeah. I was talking about this with someone the other day, how women, as I touched upon earlier, tend to get overwhelmed because we we don't we're not great focusers we have diffused awareness we're aware of all the things like i was saying about me the other day you know the, the washing and the shopping and everything so that focus yeah. can be really calming so i absolutely love love yeah. love that thank thank you sarah um and can i just give you a couple more yes yes so yes. if you're feeling <laughs> i don't know if i'm giving too much but um yes. if you're feeling super super overwhelmed and you're not starting because you think I can't even bear the thought of going in that room, then just pick something random like a handbag or the glove box or your car because you're at least taking that step. You're leaning in and you're yep. just taking because that's what we want. The hardest thing for most people is just taking that step to get started. Love it. And then my um sorry. <laughs> no, just saying I, I, it, I love it. Absolutely love it. Like even a, a handbag or a a drawer or yeah the yeah thing. It, and again you're reminding me that the, the ego the mind will say oh i can't do this 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 isn't this but your soul your inner wisdom will guide you you can you can just um you know clear out one shelf in the bathroom cabinet yes yes yeah, and, and, and and then and then you get going so i that's just really really helpful and really practical and really beautiful thanks Sarah. awesome awesome and then my last tip on this was um, also to watch what's coming in, like because if we're getting rid of stuff, then so everything that enters your home needs to earn a right. It is not welcome to every item. And uh, the one in, one out is a great strategy. So if you buy a pair of shoes, get rid of a pair of shoes. And if you really can't get rid of a pair of shoes, you know, maybe a top or something, but you look at something that can go. Um, and then if you are an impulse buyer, then trying to give yourself 48 hours. So say to yourself, I'm not going to buy anything yeah. for 48 hours until I've really thought about it. Amazing. Yeah. I, I love this. You know, the, the one in, one out, I heard that years ago. And it's one of those things that's always stuck. I mean, it's so common sense, isn't it? Because obviously if you yeah. keep buying more stuff, and you're not doing the one in, one out, you're going to get more and more stuff. And I, remember, yeah. I, I said to you, your that piece of advice that you've just reiterated in terms of stuff has to earn a right to be in my yes. home and I was like and in fact I think I might even write an email about it but I was like that resonated because I thought I need to be like that with people and that's right yeah <laughs> there will be other people who are the same because one of my lessons yeah. from last year was to be compassionate to all but for some it's from a distance so it's like you might go into um John Lewis or wherever you've got the equivalent in Australia and you might love that vase and that painting but you can love it and still and still leave it there so I I love that and I've I've I've, I've, bought, I've sort of used that in a different way as well so yeah, yeah all so useful so 